Sir, and then the lady behind. Yes, uh, Fred, I'd like to ask you something. It's <laughs> <laughs> Corey, Corey um, you, you invited Randy to debate you, um, and I think you gave him an escape clause because you said if he agrees that both of you have the best interests of America at heart, you gave him an out. He's going to say no. And so I, if, you want, if you want to rephrase that, in case there's a reporter here that's recording it, so that you might debate him on, you might want to modify that. No, I mean exactly what I said. <laughs> and I know in D.C. that might be somewhat blasphemous to have the idea that your opposition and you can at least share the idea that uh, we're both, we both have the country's best interests at our heart, and given the debates we've seen between Republicans and Democrats lately, uh, that basic courtesy has been lost in many ways. I, I find that sad. But underlying much of what is said about Muslim communities is the allegation that we are disloyal to our country. And I find that highly offensive. Let me give you just a couple of quick examples. The hikers that were just recently released, our executive, the, the executive director of my organization, the chairman of the board of my organization, were in Iraq with a Catholic cardinal and Episcopalian bishop uh, after we had worked for two years to seek their release along with an FBI agent who we've been trying to get information about who disappeared uh, They were there, they were told by the highest levels, Ahmadinejad himself, that our work on that issue had helped facilitate the release. In 2009, some families came to the office of my organization and reported to them that, five of them, that their five sons had gone missing and the circumstances were fairly suspicious. I'm the one who made the phone calls that got the FBI involved in that. And that case is now cited as a model of cooperation between the Muslim community and law enforcement. In 2006, when Jill Carroll, a reporter, was kidnapped in Iraq, and she was given a very short deadline, uh, if something didn't happen, her kidnappers would execute her. I was part of a delegation that left DC and went to Baghdad to make an appeal on the ground for her release. So I know. I have done my civic duty, and I find a highly offensive that anyone would accuse me of seeking to overthrow my own nation. <coughs> anyone who wants to come from that particular position, I'm sorry, there's just there's no starting point for a debate between us. So that is a ground rule, and I meant what I said on that. Thank you. Wow.